Security boundaries start with a physical computer. We've also covered the subsequent boundaries, an operating system boundary and a user session boundary. Let's try to discover if a process also sets another system security boundary. What's the meaning of a process to begin with? The system task manager uses the term incorrectly. A process is a binary code saved to a file. A part of the virtual memory addressed to a system and code metadata are allocated to an executable code. The metadata includes mostly handles that enables the process to communicate with external processes. A process also involves a security context that describes it. These elements constitute a process as such. Returning to the task manager, the processes tab shows elements that are not actual processes. What's more, some launched binary objects are contained here multiple times. Modern operating systems, including Windows, don't use a process to set a security boundary. A process defines a reliability boundary and is managed by an operating system. It allocates CPU and RAM to processes. This means that a single process can read and modify the data other processes work with in a way that is uncontrolled by the system. This occurs within a user session. If we run an untrusted program or an untrusted process in our session, this implies that we practically lose control over not only the results of the program's operation, but over the entire session. This is important security-wise, and we'll bring this up more than once later. We need to trust that a launched program will work as described by its developer. Otherwise, we need to verify this on our own. We can conclude that we shouldn't normally use the administrator account because a process run with administrator privileges can affect also other processes run by other users. A process that is run in this way crosses the boundary of a user session. PatchGuard is another technology we'll talk about. This technology has been developed to prevent the installation of programs running in the kernel mode. These programs operate low level and can directly access other system processes, which means that they are able to access computer resources indirectly. PatchGuard is a security solution deployed in 64-bit systems. The working principle behind this technology looks as follows. If PatchGuard detects a modification of the system processes that is unsupported by Microsoft, the system halts as a stop error is reported. All the most important system processes, Entos Kernel EXE, Hall DLL, IDT, SSDT, and MSR are protected using PatchGuard. What's the purpose of this mechanism? Who develops programs that run in kernel mode? These programs include, above all, drivers and low-level services. Their creators are software manufacturers, ISVs. Many software manufacturers developed programs that patch the kernel to make it compatible with their company's designs. This meant that the programs made use of undocumented functions and features of the kernel. What followed is that any modification of these undocumented functionalities entailed the shutdown of a number of programs used on the computer. This practice resulted in Microsoft having their hands tied. Any amendment or change in the system structure could bring about a failure of multiple programs and a round of disputes with ISVs about making them work again. To streamline this process, the PatchGuard technology has been implemented. The solution reports critical errors which are signaled by the characteristic stop message. This provides a software developer with a clear sign that the program they are developing and testing uses an undocumented functionality and patches the kernel in a way that is not supported by a system manufacturer. These, in short, 
are the goals of PatchGuard. The goal was never to protect systems against malicious modifications of system processes. Remember that you shouldn't base your security policy on solutions that weren't created with security in mind. This issue is all the more vital because the misconception is quite common. This is why attacks occasionally target PatchGuard as well. Results of these attempts are later published and discussed at conferences. It's been repeatedly proved that the technology can be successfully bypassed. Microsoft doesn't seem to react to these claims in any way. The company doesn't treat bypassing patch guard, for example, modifying a system process to your liking and not following Microsoft recommendations as a security boundary violation. And so the vulnerabilities won't be patched in, nor will any steps be taken to mitigate the threat. The attacks are feasible and quite easy to run. PatchGuard operates as a kernel process, so it can't protect other processes that have similar level of privileges. The program doesn't protect files stored on the disk either. The only objects that are protected are the processes loaded into memory.